Okay, here we are, Kia Sedona 2008. We're gonna do a spill and fill, or drain and fill for the transmission fluid. Um, I changed it one time completely. Uh, I don't. I think I have a video. Maybe it was the Mazda Tribute, but it's on my channel. Um, if you want to see how that's done, but uh, I'm just gonna now just maintain it. And uh, I always just go to Kia and get this SP3 automatic transmission fluid. I know people are like, you can use this one, you can use that one. I have peace of mind. Just go get that at the Kia dealership. It's only maybe a little bit more than what you would find at the store. So um, let's start. There's going to be a quick video on how to just spill and fill the transmission fluid. Okay, here we go. We're underneath the Kia Sedona. And um, here is that bolt that you need to remove. Now, it's really close to this uh, bar, and so I usually don't like doing this, but this is a 24 millimeter socket, and it actually just fits in there. Um, I thought I was gonna go have to go get a um, just a wrench because it just barely fits. But I guess this was thin enough. Uh, I had originally used this socket which is a 24, but it's thicker and it just did not fit in right. So first thing I would say, I would rather get a socket. So I'm gonna go get a 24 inch socket um, while I get my oil because I don't have, I mean a 24 inch wrench because I don't have it. Okay, now here is where I'm turning it. I have some gloves on because it probably is gonna get very messy and There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up and then I'm going to measure it so I know exactly how much to put in. Um, because I always put in what I take out. And so I know on the internet it says so many quarts, um, but I just like to be sure. So. It's getting kind of close to filling this thing up. I will uh, keep an eye on it and let you know exactly how many quarts we took out. All right, um, took it all out. Now I'm going to use measuring cup, 16 ounces, 32 ounces is a quart, to fill up this uh, five quart empty uh, jug. Anyway. I'll uh, save you all the slowness of uh, filling this up and I'll let you know what the answer is. All right, here's the final verdict. Uh, I took out five quarts and eight ounces. So as you can see, it almost filled this up and that's all gone. So five quarts and then a little bit more, like a quarter of a quart, which is a 30 second or something like that. All right, anyway, eight ounces. All right, here's some uh, final thoughts. Uh, I got down there and put the bolt back in. There's no filter to change. There is a filter, but I think they only do that when you um, put in the transmission, uh, rebuild it or something, they put the filter in. Um, so I just put the bolt back on with a 23 uh, millimeter socket. Uh, I went to Kia, bought a couple of these, let's see, five quarts, right? So five quarts was like around $40. So you can't get much cheaper than that. Um, and it's this SP3, which, you know, who knows what it is. Um, SP3 ATF formulation. Well, anyway, I just go get the Kia brand. Uh, the other thing is there's nowhere for it to let air out. So if you're using a bigger uh, funnel, it's going to... Uh, uh, release air while you're putting it in and it's going to spill all over. So the key is go nice and slow. I have a little funnel there and I just go really nice and slow um, to put it back in. So final thoughts. Um, when I changed, completely changed it, um, as you can see in my other videos, um, but I think I did it on the Mazda. Uh, you have to take the lines out going into the um, radiator and completely flush it. Uh, and I would do, I did that once, but there's about 11 
courts that go into it's either 11 or 13 i can't remember it's probably 11 uh but five of them came out so if i'm replacing five that's going to really dilute the uh transmission fluid uh to a nice pink color uh, it wasn't that bad coming out and that's because i've done this before um you know and i do it i pull a trailer with the kia so i do it more often uh and it's just peace of mind so final thoughts is uh or final thoughts are that it's not a bad idea to spill and fill this every couple uh, years. It doesn't have to be every year um, unless you're pulling a trailer like I am. Uh, but it's not a bad idea just to go ahead and put five quarts um, in and have brand new transmission fluid. So if you have any questions, I try to get to them. Just put it in the comment section.